Well, I'll start with the elephant pissing on a flat rock waterfall that irritates some people, but oh well, that's how it goes. Can't make everybody happy. So beautiful fall colors. There is the uh, baby ghost. And there's the motorcycle in the background because there's a busy street here. Hence we have allowed waterfalls to drop it off. Sparkling arrow. Nice big tall chamisiferous. On the right, it's autumn moon. Fall color of the tree peony is looking good. This is a 30 year old Sangu Kaku that I never let grow any bigger than six feet tall. A little seedling coming up. And then the parviflora, owie. There's Pixie, turning fall color with some spring color right there. Shana, maybe get some color out of the uh, first, first, first ghost. Yeah, this is the original one. It's kind of turned to brown. Not exactly stellar year for its fall color. Here's the S sunset. As I said, it looks really cool when you got a, the light is the backdrop, so you're looking south at the tree. Really makes it shine a lot better. There's little Maji Shiguri. Still on the fence on this tree. It has really cool fall color, or excuse me, spring color, but the other color is kind of weird. There's fairy lights. That Jordan didn't quite handle the full sun in that spot. Over here. Good nice Sakazuki. Those Delux recovery trees. Someday it will look good. Circle back a little bit. There's a purple ghost, fall color. Down there, the orange is a Hananama Nashiki. Down there, there's fall color of the Akawa Kawa Haimi. Nice little dwarf red bark. Seems to stay alive, do better than Flavsons. Flavson? No, I can't remember. Felheim. And then uh, winter, winter Flame was really nice, but it gets too big. I've had to take those out. They grow too big. Fish are still active. So it's kind of warm. A big seedling maple. Starting to get some fall, fall color. You can see what happens. Just one of my big fir trees just up and died. Uh, the uh, flicker kept, uh, the sap suckers kept chewing into it and eventually it died. Here is uh, red filgy lace. Oh, I know why I came down here. There is the best fall color of a Acer Sure Swanum Golden Full Moon that I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen this with good fall color. And this one has good fall color, which is really rare. Usually you get this brown coloration, which everybody right calls me up and says, Why is my tree turning brown? Like, well, that's what it does for fall. Except this year. Pretty cool. So I'll get back over here. I get lost. I love this little Amarika right here. Uh, gold, golden Midget. Here's a really interesting Douglas fir. Not quite sure the variety of it. Um, here's one called 
Oh, shoot, Jackson, Jackson's Witch's Broom or something like that. Not sure if this is it or not. Got the plant from some person that didn't have a clue what it was and bought it. Oh, Miss Piggy. You got to show off, do you? Always got to be in a video. Here's the Coralinum. Sneak up through here. Oh, look at the Abbey's weeping. And then amongst the irises. Sneak my way through. It's got some great color. There's a bald smith back there. All right, I'm going to jump around over and then circle back. Oh, got a good view of the. Acer Sacrum Monumentale from this angle. Yeah, that Abby's Weeping is really looking good. It looks like there's a seedling coming out of there too. I don't know what that tree is. This is why I love Abby's Weeping. Earth Fire is pretty cool here. Baldsmith, which is one of my favorites. A lot of the nurseries stopped growing it. The comment was, the name wasn't attractive enough. So, there you go. Tree may be attractive, but the name keeps it from selling. Here's Kauai. Kauai's got uh, a little fall color and a little spring color. Look at Orion back there. Beautiful orange. Yeah. This year may end up with some good color. Taka Nogawi. This is a tree that I rescued from Del Luke's. It's got about a six inch caliper and it was growing in a 20 gallon tall pot that had bedded itself in the ground and they just cut it off at the pot. So it had like about four inches of root on each side of the, of the trunk. I'm about 18 inches deep and it's made it that's called a rescue tree Look at the Japanese sunrise or tequila sunrise as I call it Juton there it is Ruby stars. Oh, I got distracted. My daughter just texted me. And we can get a nice view of the pencil tree, as we call it, because this time of year it looks like a pencil. It's kind of almost like a scarecrow from the top, but I don't think I can get it from this angle. You see that from the street, from the road. Uh, the otaki, the japonicum looks wonderful. Kinrin looks great. Now look at this color. It's just going to jump. Full sun. Just. <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear that guy coughing, but that's pretty cool. This is. What makes this tree? It's about 20 feet tall. Said we got to prune it this year. And if you're wondering how we prune it this year, I got a friend who's got a pull ladder and he'll cut it. If not, you can always dig it up out of the ground, lay it on the side, and prune it out. Beautiful. Golden Spreader, one of my favorites. Kamagata looks good. Got a big, huge roadie back there. That thing's got the craziest big, huge leaves. Well, gives you a little look. And that is just the perfect color. In about three, four days, it's gone.